Greetings, everybody. Mike Emmerich here. Eddie Olchek alongside Ray Ferraro down at ice level. Tonight, we have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. Tonight, a great game that will keep you on the edge of your seat. We have just begun with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emmerich. Tumbled to one knee, and he lost it. Snapping a pass to Fitz. Are we getting one? Yes, a penalty shot. Well, the defensive player was trying to go for the puck on this breakaway opportunity, but clearly to score! I love watching guys score on the backhand. Skinner's beat low on the glove side. That's a real quick release that he can't get to. Fitz broken the nothing-nothing tie. Lots of time to go yet. Let's see if they can build off that first goal. Mix it up back there. Cleared all the way down, and it's an icing. The Wolves with a clean win on the draw. Directing that one to 2-2. Good job just chopping it away. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Gathered in by Reed. To Bear. Pitching this one to Calico. Gets in. What'll he do? Flings it. Score! Off a skate and in! The Greyhounds with a win at center. Left wing pass to Fitz. Nice work by Reed. Pitching it to Yoshi. Trying to go to 2-2. Solid defensive position there. And they've got it again. Puck is thrown to Calico. And now it's directed to Calico. Nicely into the zone. And he pushes on through mid-ice. Thrown to the slot. He hit the goalpost. Around through the corner right now. Passing one off now to Ho. Shot on. Waffle boarded. Fantastic shutdown. Gets in. Looks over his options here. Propelled to Bear. Moving it to Fitz. And it's a good pickup. Pass attempt to Ryan. Flips in. A whistle and a rest. Over nine minutes left in the first. Just recently another goal, and so the lead is two. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. He's in on an onside play. That one's deflected. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Good face-off win. The Greyhounds wheel one ahead up the wing. Swung at and chipped away. Broke it up well with the poke check. Out, another save. Nice job, straight stand-up poke check. Chooses the corner. Shoots one. The Wolves are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Loose puck, the defense got in the way there. Oh, did he ever get matched? Byron's apparently got the memo here. This is going to be a physical game. Both teams are going to want to get on the body. But he wants his club to have the upper hand. Free puck off a defender. Poke checked away by Yoshi. Heads on to the corner. Strong play, good reach. Great job on a cut pass. And he hammers one. Just missed the net. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Uh, 
Sudbury starting from their own zone. And he picks it up. That attack shot right down. Good hand to eye in the reach of the stick. Looking to Calico. Puck grab. They've got it ready. Good place to shoot from. Two on one opportunity. Robbery there. We have one period in the books. Two goals scored and both by the same team. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. If you have the best decorated car or home, you could win red side tickets to an upcoming game. We have begun the second period. Solid neutralized poke check. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. Yoshi's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. There's always a start to your power play night. And this is number one. Good solid defensive play there. On the outside, a shot. Yeah, shot back out. All's fine. They must retreat and start back again. Snapping a pass to home. And that's an offside. And the faceoff's won. Good standing poke check. It's dumped in. Directing that one to Bear. Pitching this one to Calico. Pitching it to Fitz. Got to clear it here. Good job of clearing. Sneaks in. Sault Ste. Marie's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Well, they had all kinds of zone time. Really, they didn't leave the zone much at all. But they didn't get the puck into the middle of the ice. They certainly didn't have any traffic in front of the net. And the penalty killers were content to let them pass it around the outside. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Just under four minutes have transpired here in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Chip to Ho. Offside is called. Somebody got over-anxious there. They've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. And he steps across the line. A shot. Score! Three straight goals. Sault Ste. Marie's built a 3 to nothing lead in this game, and they've had the puck almost the entire time. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Shift to the backhand and shoots. He is shut right off. Byron's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notes. Loose puck, good defensive denial. Took it up the boards and holds. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Reed's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Sault Ste. Marie's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Good clean win on the draw. One timer. What a shot, and he got his glove on. He covers and holds on. Good faceoff win. The Wolves up the wing lock the puck. He banks a pass ahead. Good jab with the stick there. Must get it out. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Trying to go to Ryan.
Sault Ste. Marie's power play did not do it for them. Sometimes the power play's out of sync from the second they dropped the puck. That was one of them. They didn't move it well. They didn't skate with any speed into the zone. They didn't get set up. That thing was a write-off. That puck is loose on good defensive play. The Wolves in possession through center. Can he generate something from there? Puck is thrown to Calico. Gains the zone and looks over his options. And now it's directed to Ryan. Has it back deep. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. He knocked that one away. Passing one off now to Calico. Pass to the slot. They score! They only trail by a pair. Sudbury's clawed back to within two goals. Lots of time still remaining. Perhaps this will be momentum they can build before the second intermission. Cool. Moving it to Calico. He knifed it away. And he dumps it in. And he slides it on through the middle. Great move there. Let's see if he can get something going. Pass cut. Puck corral by Yoshi. Lose, but he found it. Good job on the draw. Sault Ste. Marie's carrying on up the wing. Oh, look at this! Scooped up by Reed. The Wolves up the wing are moving the puck. Oh, broke it up! Great save in close. A missed opportunity from this close in. Just a hair under four minutes still to play in this period. The lead has just been cut in half. Let's see if momentum changes now. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. The Wolves have gotten back to within one, and we're in the latter stages of the second period. Lots of potential before the horn sounds. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Number 15 and by number 96. Close in play. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Quick work on the faceoff. That pass in the corner. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Can't get a shot on it. He's going to go after the goalie. These two have had something going on all game long. Not surprised about what might happen. Nice face-off work. Pass attempt to Yoshi. Last minute of play. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. Is reefed. Oh, he's what a reaction! Good. Oh, stick save. Two periods have been played. They've worked pretty hard at it, and they get a well-deserved rest. Third period coming up shortly. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. Entering the third period, based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Sudbury is still alive, Doc, after 40 minutes of play. They're down, but not out. They need to clean up their own defensive zone and then look to get a lucky bounce to get back in this game. Mashed in. Oh, that one went in off the defense. My, oh, my. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. And he drops it in deep. Decides he wants the corner. 
And down to Calico. Slid to Calico. Terrific interception. Got the pad on it. Puck covered, whistle blown. A little under three minutes have been played. Just recently another goal, and so the lead is two. The Greyhounds have control of the puck in the defensive zone. Didn't handle it very well, free puck. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. He can start some danger here. Nicely padded away. Terrific hand-eye. Goes to the backhand. Score! He's got his second of the game. Strong play on that face-off. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Looking to Tutu. Moved along and in. Score! And that's the hat trick. There won't be many on the ice, if any. But he's got three goals. Sudbury's goal gets them to within two. And we are in the third period. And there's still time for them to strike back. Snapping a pass to Ryan. Shoots one. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a faceoff right near him. Down to rinkside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Tutu's had an almost perfect night. Prominent since the puck has been dropped the very first time. Three goals in any night means you've had an almost perfect game. He has been spectacular, Ray. Faceoff win here. Hose, wonderful block. Took it in the corner and took a look, too. Let's it go. Grab. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. Clean win on the draw. The Greyhounds are moving the puck in the defensive zone. Nicely into the zone. Tries to get it on net. Good quick poke check there. Got it in his own end. And play is stopped for a penalty. Sault Ste. Marie sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Nine minutes, three seconds. Let's go a wrister. Calico's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. Puck out of play over the glass, so another face-off coming up. Because they can't play it where it landed. And that's a face-off win. Directing that one to Tutu. He gains the zone. And rip big-time save, big-time shooter. This is an easy game to comment on because it's been nothing but goals, goals, goals. There's not been many saves to talk about. The goaltenders have had a difficult night defensively. They haven't had much help either. As Blocker it away. A chance to clear. Cleared back out. This will force them to drop back a lot. Shot down the ice, and again, they are going to have to be in a defensive posture here. The faceoff is right in front of their goaltender. Icing is called. Defensive zone win. Pitching this one to Ryan. On to Tutu. You could almost count that one, but no. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. He scored! Oh, I take that back. No goal. No goal's been signaled immediately, Doc. It's the right call from the official. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. To Yoshi. Yoshi's looking to add to his two assists in this game. He'll do everything he can to get his team back in this game. They're down by a couple. Moving it now up the wing. And that one has sailed back in. Pitching it to Calico. Back on his stick. Just a chop of the puck, and it's out of the way. 
Trying to go to Calico. Shot. No. Luck. He scores. Second of the game. What a performance. And they've won the faceoff. It's an onside play. Not a free puck now. Nicely speared away. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Pirates going to the box, and the call is tripping. The Wolves power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. Sault Ste. Marie's controlling play now up the wing. Puck is thrown to Tutu. And he steps across the line. Knocks it away with the stick. Free puck off a defender there. The Greyhounds wheel it up the wing. Terrific determination by Reed. And now it's directed to Ryan. Try to clear the puck. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. Sault Ste. Marie's back to full strength. They've killed off the penalty. I guess we know what they're going to be doing in practice tomorrow. Get on the power play. That was an abysmal effort on the power play. Passing one off now to Ryan. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Moves it to the corner. Two sticks together. It goes to the offense. Taken over again. Moving it to Calico. Oh, outstanding move. Through the corner. That puck's loose, defended away by Reed. The Wolves lug that along in their own end. That's a good solid poke chip. Back in his defensive end to get it. Enormous collision. Reed's made an enormous hit here. You can lead with a goal, a shot, or a hit. This time it's fifth. In all alone! Score! And the game is over! Well played, it was. This game was a close game. And it was a little bit deceptive that way because of the victor's time of possession. Could have thrown two or three pucks out there, and they were going to have all of them all at the same time.